Dear colleagues, dear participants, I think we had a wonderful online meeting with interesting and valuable talks. However, I am very sorry that you could not come to Cluj to the Babesbo University for a face-to-face -face meeting. If the program of the meeting uh, raised your interest, that is the merit of the core group of the host action, which set up the program. In the organization of the meeting, the most important part of the work was done by Fernando Martin, the chair of the cost action, and of course, Beatriz, who takes care of everything. First, we have to thank to them. I also would like to say many thanks to my colleagues from Cluj, who, have, who worked hard for the success of this meeting. First, Shandor Borbe, then, Katalin Noj, who has edited the abstract book. Uh, Ferenc Jaira Isabu, who has managed the web page, and also Katalin Kovac and Istvan Tud. And also many thanks to the speakers, poster presenters, who have contributed to the success of this meeting. Now I am pleased to hand over to Fernando for his closing remarks. Hello, I hope you can hear me and see me. I, uh, of course, I also want to uh, thank a lot of people who have contributed to, to the conference. Uh, in the first place, I want to thank very much Ladislao Nagy and all his team for the, uh, the organization that they had done uh, to, help, to hold the uh, conference in Cluj. Everything was already prepared from the uh, conference site, hotels, lunches, uh, conference dinner, website. They have taken care of the book of abstract. Everything was ready. Unfortunately, we had to cancel this conference. And but all the uh, all this organization has to be recognized. And in part, what we have seen during these three days is the uh, result of all their work. So that's why I want to thank them very, very much. I also want to thank all the speakers and poster presenters and participants, because without them, of course, uh, this conference would not have taken place. Ladislao mentioned her already, but uh, of course, uh, Beatriz Martin, the grand holder manager of the action, has played a crucial role in uh, keeping uh, us in contact all the time in solving all the problems that arose during and before the meeting. The conference program was the responsibility of the core group of the action, so uh, it's their merit to, if you like the, uh, the uh, scientific program. I think it was a great scientific program, and, uh, and this was the result of their imagination in proposing speakers and topics. I want to thank also the uh, company Brightham for their technical assistance. It has been very difficult for us. For us, it was something completely new. They have helped us very much. They have efficiently solved the problems that were arising. I only have one complaint, and is that they were not able to organize a virtual conference dinner. So I hope that next time they will solve this problem for us. Now you allow me, I would like to conclude by showing you, uh, I, will, I will share my screen and I will show you some uh, numbers uh, of, the, uh, of the conference. Uh -huh. Okay, I think here it is. So, you know, we have had a little bit more than 300 participants registered officially in the conference, uh, which I think is a, is a great success because this was the first meeting of the action. So we are still knowing each other. So I think that this shows that there is a lot of interest in, uh, in, in exploring how atosecond science can be used to do new chemistry, which is the main goal of the action. And also you can see that there is a, a distribution among uh, many different countries, not only European countries, but also 
countries in North and South America, Asia, and uh, and so I think this uh, this shows the uh, that this is a, a, a field that is uh, very promising, and and we hope that we'll be able to keep these standards in future meetings of the action. I also want to 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 mention that uh, the uh, the attendance to the to the talks was. Uh, I mean, this is difficult to estimate, but uh, uh, in an online conference, because you know, as the, the talks are being recorded, you can watch the talks whenever you want. So it's, you don't have to follow this necessarily online, but I can tell you that the average number of participants attending the conferences and the talks online was around a hundred for per session, except for the parallel sessions, of course, because you know, there were, uh, this was half this number. So, which I think is, is, is more or less what you see in a regular in-person conference. And concerning the posters, and these are the numbers you can see here, well, these are the, uh, the total uh, number of views that we had up until uh, today. And, uh, and I think, and also we have some uh, figures here, so you can see the posters that were more visited. And so I think this was also very successful. In fact, uh, in this way, you get much more visitors than in a normal in-person conference. So I will I will stop sharing my screen and um, and go back. Uh, so just to conclude, I'd like to mention a few activities that um, that uh, will take place during uh, the next few months in the framework of the uh, of, of the of the action. And uh, for this, I had to share my screen again. So, in addition to uh, to our um, annual meeting that we are finishing right now, uh, just a few days uh, before this meeting, there was already uh, a, a meeting of the working group three uh, entitled "Towards Atosecond Chemistry of Liquid Crystals." That also, I think, was very successful. And in the next few months, there will be several meetings of the different working groups. There will be one uh, involving working group two about models and numerical methods for the description of ionization and electron dynamics and molecules. This will be, take place in February. And about the same time, uh, the beginning of next year, there will be uh, uh, several uh, training schools. One was already advertised by Katerina Bozzi and her talk um, in uh, involving working group one. And there will be a school also that is in principle um, um, thought to be in person, but this uh, has to be uh, you know, arranged depending on the situation by then. Uh, that will take place in Erice, Italy. And there will be a theoretical school in Zaragoza. Again, this, uh, I mean, the format of the, of the school will depend very much on the circumstances that we will have to face. I want to remind you that uh, you know within the action you can apply for uh, support to perform short-term scientific missions, just to go to uh, to develop uh, some collaborations with partners in the network, and there is money for that. And I understand that in the present circumstances, uh, traveling is probably not the best idea. But in some cases, you know, uh, maybe uh, traveling uh, is safe. And in those cases, if you think that uh, is uh, interesting for you and useful for your research work to uh, visit uh, somebody else's lab to uh, perform experiments or just to exchange ideas, don't hesitate and apply for short-term scientific missions. The details of how, on how to apply can be found in the, in the Atokem website. I also remind you that there are ITC conference grants. These are grants for um, for uh, basically for Eastern European countries. Uh, and uh, this gives support to attend conferences. So it can also give support to attend virtual conferences that have a registration fee. So uh, this is something that we can also offer to participants. So in order to enjoy all these, uh, all these possibilities, uh, you have to be officially registered in the uh, Atokem website. So I'm, if you are interested in, uh, in joining our network and take advantage of all these opportunities, please go to our Atokan website and register. And then I stop sharing again my, my screen and I 
conclude. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed the conference. I have enjoyed it very much. Um, and I hope that I will have the opportunity to see you in future Atokem events. Thank you very much and goodbye.